All 45 confirmed ministers have been sworn in by President Bola Tinubu. The event, which was held at the presidential villa in Abuja, had in attendance top government officials, dignitaries and traditional rulers. The ministers who have been charged to restore to restore the people's faith in governance now form a key part of President Bola Tinubu's administration. Our correspondent, Fala Shade Ogunrini, tells us more in this report. After two months, three weeks and two days, the administration of President Bola Hamed Tinubu has come full circle with the swearing-in of 45 ministers. One after the other, the portfolio of all 45 ministers were read with each taking an oath to serve with integrity and honor in service to the nation. Just before Monday's inauguration, President Tinubu shuffled portfolios earlier assigned to the appointees, relocated ministries as well as created new ones. Abubakar Momo was reassigned to the newly created Federal Ministry of Niger Delta Development from the Federal Ministry of Youths. Former Ocean State Governor Adigboyega Oyetola is to take charge in the Ministry of Marine and Blue Economy, while Bumi Tsunji Ojo will man the Ministry of Interior. Saido Alkeli takes oath as the Minister of Transportation. Also, both Ministers of State in the oil and gas sector are now based in the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources. After all 45 ministers had been sworn in, President Tinubu warned that their service is to the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not for ethnic or regional gain. The challenges we face today are very daunting. Yes, they are. Yet, amidst these evident challenges, we have the opportunity to implement long overdue reform that will improve the operations of government transform our nation's economy and ensure peace, safety and prosperity for our people. Tinubu while emphasizing that the ministers were selected based on their track record of excellence and achievement in public and private sectors, charged them to restore public faith in governance. Greatest number of Nigerians are highly expectant of delivery and accountability and transparency. <clears throat> Nigeria expects that you will serve with integrity, dignity, and deliver. I will hold you to that standard. We both, we all promise Nigerians. Nigerians should be expecting a departure from the norm. Everybody knows what's been happening in that solid mineral sector of the economy. It's been free tied away. Nigeria has been shortchanged. We've been receiving the shorter end of the stick. There is going to be a critical departure from that norm. Every ministry, the expectation of Nigeria or Nigerians is that you key into the um, hope agenda of Mr. President. Each ministry has a role to play. President Tinubu had initially sent out 48 names to the Senate for screening and approval. However, only 45 were confirmed, leaving the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, Nasser El Rufai, former deputy governor of Terebo State, Abubakar Denladi, as well as Stella Okotete. Fulashade Ogurinde, TV360 News.